Welcome to a lesson on onto transformations. A transformation t from Rn to Rm is onto if, for every vector b in Rm, the equation t of x equals b has at least one solution x in Rn. Or maybe a simpler way to state this is that for every output vector b in Rm, there must be at least one corresponding input vector x in Rn. Another word for onto is surjective. And here are some other equivalent ways of stating t is onto. The range of t is equal to the codomain of t. Looking at the mapping below, which shows an onto transformation, notice how on the right we can see the range and codomain are both R2. And then finally we have every vector in the codomain is the output of some input vector. Let's take a look at a second onto mapping. This mapping does represent an onto transformation Notice every output vector, in this case the vectors b sub one and b sub two, do have at least one corresponding input vector. Notice vector b sub two has one corresponding input vector, vector y, and the output vector b sub one has two corresponding input vectors, vectors x and z. Notice how this does satisfy the condition for every vector in the codomain is the output of some input vector. Similarly, looking at this in terms of equations, notice t of x equals t of z, which equals b sub one, which has two solutions, vector x and vector z, and the equation t of y equals vector b sub two has one solution, which is vector y. Again, notice all the equations t of x equals b have at least one solution, in this case, one or two solutions. And now let's talk about equivalent ways of stating a transformation is not on two. If the range of t is smaller than the codomain of t, the transformation is not on two. Looking at the mapping below, notice how the range is the line and the codomain is R2. The range is smaller than the codomain. This is not an on two transformation. There exists a vector b in Rm such that the equation t of b does not have a solution. We'll take a look at that in a minute and there is a vector in the codomain that is not an output of any input vector. So again, let's take a look at a second mapping that represents a transformation that is not on two. So again, a transformation is not on two if there's a vector in the codomain that is not the output of any input vector. So notice here, vector b sub three does not have a corresponding input vector, and therefore this is not an on two transformation. And again, the range is less than the codomain. In this term, we take a look at some of our past knowledge and relate it to onto transformations. So if we let A be an M by N matrix and let T of X equal AX be associated with the matrix transformation, then all the following statements are equivalent. T is onto, T of X equals B has at least one solution for every B in our M. AX equals B is consistent for every B in our M. The columns of A span Rm. A has a pivot in every row. The range of T has dimension M, as well as number seven, where if we're given the transformation from V to W, T is onto if and only if the rank of T equals the dimension of W. When it comes down to determining whether a matrix transformation is onto, we often use number five, where to determine if a matrix transformation is onto, we write the transformation matrix in either row echelon form or reduced row echelon form and determine if the matrix has a pivot in every row. If the answer is yes, the transformation is onto. If the answer is no, the transformation is not onto. So for two examples, let's first look at this top matrix A. The first step is to write the matrix in either row echelon form or reduced row echelon form. In reduced row echelon form, there is a pivot in row one as well as row two. Because there are pivots in every row, matrix A does represent an onto matrix transformation. And then for the second matrix A, again, the first step is to write the matrix in reduced row echelon form. We have a pivot in row one and row two, but there is no pivot in row three because we don't have pivots in every row. The corresponding matrix transformation is not onto. Let's take a look at a demo of the matrix transformations for these two examples. This is the first matrix A where the first row is one, one, zero, and the second row is zero, one, one. 
So the input vector is the vector on the left, vector x, and the output vector is vector b on the right. As we animate vector b, we can see for every output vector, there is at least one corresponding input vector verifying this is a onto transformation. And now for the second demonstration, this demonstrates the second matrix A where we had a transformation that was not onto. Looking at the right, notice how the codomain is R3 and the range is the plane in R3. Because the range is smaller than the codomain, the transformation is not onto. Or more specifically, notice how if I drag the vector B, the output vector, off the plane, there is no corresponding input vector, again showing the matrix transformation is not onto. Notice above we have an inconsistent matrix equation. I hope you found this helpful.